Welcome back to another video. This is a second stimulus check update and stimulus package update. In today's video, we are specifically going to talk about some big news that you may have already heard of. Donald Trump just confirmed a second stimulus check. So we are going to talk about that first. I'm also gonna dive into essential workers versus unemployment. What can essential workers expect based on the current proposal inside the HEROES Act? I also want to address the $2,000 monthly stimulus check that many people have been talking about and hearing a lot about. So I wanna give you my take on that as well. And I also want to end with how you can start making some money today. So that's everything. That's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. So let's begin. I want to start off this video talking about and addressing the confirmation from President Donald Trump saying that yes, there will be a second stimulus check. Now, let me explain this a little bit more. Let me give you kind of an idea of, or explain who asked this question and why he responded in the way he did. So, this was asked yesterday in an interview by Scripps um, reporter Joe St. George. And St. George asked, um, he asked this specific question. And this, I'm paraphrasing this of course, however it goes something like this. Americans spent all of their first $1,200 stimulus check and are still hurting financially. This is what he asked Donald Trump. He, he ended with, are you going to give them another stimulus check? And before St. George was even done asking the question, Donald Trump abruptly responded saying, yes, yes, we are. That is good news. That is incredible news for you and I because that means that we will be getting a second stimulus check. He just confirmed it. Now, uh, St. George goes on and asks multiple questions, how much, when, all this other stuff. And so let me, let me address that as well. But when Donald Trump said yes, yes we are, when he was referring to, are you going to give the American people a second stimulus check? And he says yes, yes we are. That was good news because that was the first time a high level official, anybody with power, has either confirmed or denied a second stimulus check. Everybody has said, well, we're talking about it. We have hopes of this. We would like to do this. We want to stay under this budget for the next stimulus package. But nobody ever said yes or no. Being that this is the first time somebody has actually answered that question, and this comes from the person with the most power, I think it's almost a given that yes, 100% sure we will be getting a second stimulus check. Now, when will we get this second stimulus check? I know you're going to ask that, so let me just address it. Donald Trump, in this exact same interview, St. George ended up asking, you know, when? And Donald Trump, after, you know, you know, pondering about it for you know 10 15 20 seconds whatever it was he ended up saying he's hoping in the next couple of weeks but that was in reference to the stimulus package not the stimulus check okay so with that said he he pretty much mentioned in the next couple of weeks so in the next couple of weeks that means before july 4th we will have an idea of what is going to be inside this next stimulus package. Will we know how much is going to be or what's going to um, be covered inside this package? Probably not 100%, but I think we're going to have a little bit more clarity, much more clarification as to what we should expect come July. Because as everyone's already stated, there will not be any negotiations from the Senate until probably July 20th at the earliest, which means if we receive a second stimulus check, it probably won't show up until the first to second week at the earliest of August, okay? Now, how much will it be? It will most likely be $1,200, and that will be for every single person, not just for adults. It will be for adults and children, their dependents as well, all right? Now, the next thing I wanna address is the $2,000 per month stimulus check. I received multiple messages and emails yesterday alone saying, hey, I hear it's back on. So when can we expect it? Now here's what you need to understand. The person that co-sponsored this proposal, again, this was just a proposal, it wasn't passed, it's not being talked about inside the Senate, really nobody's talking about this, but one person. 
That one person is Ro Khanna. Now, he's the one that co-sponsored this proposal. So it's it's pretty much like everyone's saying, okay, it's being, uh, they're renewing talks on this. Nobody's renewing anything. All that's happening is the person that proposed this, this $2,000 monthly stimulus check is talking about it again. So in that sense, these are renewed talks. It's just the same person talking again. It would be like me saying, uh, you know, we're going to get a million dollars in stimulus money for every single American. And then two days later, the renewed talks of, hey, everybody's going to get a million dollars in stimulus checks. It's just me talking about it again. Is there any truth to this? Yes, there's truth that someone is talking about it and they're renewing these talks. However, it's just the same pushing person that was pushing this, this proposal to begin with. So is it going to happen? I don't see it happening. Nobody else is talking about this. Nobody, nobody with any power, nobody with any uh, you know high level official other than this person that proposed it is talking about. So is a $2,000 monthly stimulus check going to happen? I don't think it is. I'm not writing it off and saying that no, this is absolutely not gonna happen. However, the likelihood of it happening is very, very small. Now, I know a lot of you guys are still working and you're like, what about us? What about us? Why do all the people that are on unemployment get all this extra money? What about us? What about us? Why can't we have hazard pay of some kind? Now, I just referenced this in a video a couple of days ago where there is a state that is giving um, hazard pay, okay? Now, if you didn't watch that video, I'll link to it down in the description box below so that you can go and check it out. Now, the reason why I wanted to reference this, okay, is simply because there are a lot of people out there that are struggling or hurting. And some of these people are working. So if you continue to work and yet you're still hurting because you know you are you're back on your rent because maybe you got shut down for a little bit, you're back on your rent, you're trying to catch up. Or you know the the grocery products are skyrocketing, prices are going too high, you can't afford it. I get it. Now, let me address the the hazard pay for essential workers because nothing has been discussed uh, or said regarding essential workers and their hazard pay. And I think that is good news. I say this because what, and I referenced this in a video probably three weeks or a month ago where Republicans are now being, uh, they have to be smart with what they say. They can't just come out and say, yeah, we're talking about hazard pay. We're gonna give hazard pay to all the essential workers because they need some type of negotiation strategy. When they go to the tables to negotiate with Democrats, Republicans need to do something to have some type of leverage. So giving away all their leverage and telling the Democrats and the public exactly what they're thinking is not the smartest move. So I do think this is good news because no Republican has came out and stated there will be no hazard pay for essential workers. So I think that's good news. Now. Here's what you need to understand because I've never mentioned this on this channel. Uh, a lot of people have never even talked about what does it say for essential workers? Because everyone says $10,000 for all essential workers. 10,000, 10,000, 10,000. That's not actually how it's written in this bill, okay? So inside the HEROES Act, it is not written saying that every essential worker will receive $10,000. That's not it at all. So I wanna explain what is actually written inside the HEROES Act. So here's what it says. Now, this it's an over it's an over 1800 page bill. I didn't read through the entire thing. Uh, I tried to skim through it, couldn't find uh, exactly what I was looking for. So I had to Google it and this is what I found from multiple sources. That essential workers, so first responders, you know, janitorial jobs, um, grocery store clerks, uh, people from the post office, uh, security officer, you know, all these different people, okay? Essential workers, pretty much anybody that has been working through this time, you have been deemed essential. So that would be any, anywhere from January 27th, 2020 to 60 days after this health, um, this public health emergency has been deemed over, you will receive an additional $13 per hour as a boost. So your employer is already paying you, great, I hope they are, 
And if they are, then if this were to be passed, your employer would be responsible to pay, to pay you an additional $13 per hour. So $13 flat rate per hour. Doesn't matter if you are a, you know, you work for the public utility district. Doesn't matter if you are a postal worker. It doesn't matter if you are the a part time grocery clerk. It doesn't matter. It's $13 per hour as a boost. Now, this is what you need to understand because not every single person is going to make $10,000. Okay, I just want to be 100% clear with you guys. If you make under $200,000 per year, your maximum that you can get from this hazard pay is $10,000. If you make over $200,000, and I believe that's based on last year, on 2000, actually two years ago, 2018, because some people haven't even filed the 2019 tax return yet. Okay, so I'm not sure exactly how this will work, but as of right now, it would have to be on 2018. So, or if it comes up in the end of July, then it might be 2019. But if you make under 200,000, your maximum that you'd get for hazard pay is $10,000. If you make over, even $1 over, you would get $5,000 maximum in hazard pay. And this is to account for people that are, you know, grocery store employees that maybe get paid 10 to $15 per hour versus hospital employees, doctors, who get paid a lot more, who could easily make $250,000 or more per year. So just to give you an idea, to put this into perspective for you, uh, let's say a grocery store, and give an example, a grocery store employee works 40 hours a week, 160 hours per month. From February 1st, so not even January 27th, but from February 1st to July 1st, so not even July 31st, okay? So February 1st to July 1st, and uh, that is 21, it's like 20 point, 20 weeks, eh, five days, something like that. So 21 weeks, roughly, um, they would make uh, 40, or 40 hours per week. They would have an additional um, $10,920 coming to them. However, that exceeds the max, so that person would only get $10,000 maximum from their employer. And the way that worked out was 21 weeks times 40 hours a week comes up to 840 hours total. You multiply that by 13, comes out to $10,920, which means they maxed out. Now, again, let me put this into perspective for you. So for people on unemployment that get unemployment benefits, so let's say they get unemployment benefits from, and that's an unemployment benefit boost, that's $600 per week, they get it from March 15th to July 31st. As of July 31st, they are cut off. As of right now, they will get $0 starting in August. So that's 20 weeks. It's actually 19 weeks and a little bit more. But 20 weeks, okay, 20 times $600 is $12,000. So in this amount of time, currently as it sits, people that have been working and you know have been out there you know, risking their health and their lives they would get maximum $10,000. People on unemployment would receive, would get $12,000. Now, here's what you need to understand. People on unemployment also get a state unemployment benefit. So let's say it's $250. So $250 times 20 weeks, what is that? Um, $5,000 they would get over those 20 weeks. If you add that to the $12,000, hopefully my math is right and hopefully you're uh, keeping up. If you had $5,000 to the $12,000 in additional bonuses, they would get $17,000 over the course of that time frame. You factor in what a, a grocery store employee might make, let's say $10 an hour because for simple math, $10 an hour times 40 hours a week, they'd make $400. I'm just, I'm not even going to include taxes, $400 a week times 21 weeks, they'd make, um, what's up, uh, 8000 I'm going to say $8,000, just $8,000 even. You add that to the $10,000 in maximum hazard pay that they get, that would be $18,000. So on one hand, you got people on unemployment that would have made right around $17,000. You got people that have been working, are going to get hazard pay, they make about $18,000. So it's pretty much even. I know people that are working that are saying, we just want it to be fair. That's all we want. And that essentially would make it fair. So 
you have questions on that, you can ask your questions down in the comment section below. But if you are enjoying this video, if you like the content that I'm bringing, can you do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. It just tells YouTube, hey, this is a great video, you should share it with others. Now there's a couple other things I wanna to get to in this video. The first thing, and probably the most pressing of the two, is if I still haven't received my first stimulus check of $1,200, what can I do to ensure that I get it. The first thing that I recommend, and the only thing that I recommend right now, is to call the IRS. The IRS has made it clear that some people have got their checks stolen, some people have been sent a check, however, it just hasn't gone to the right mailing address or maybe the wrong bank account. So with that said, call the IRS and see, hey, did you send my check? If you did, where did it go? When did you send it? I can look into it from there. And this is what a lot of people have been doing. I have heard from multiple sources, okay? Even people local, not even across the, you know, the United States, but even people local to me, people that I know personally, they have had their check sent to the wrong mailing address. The government had the wrong address, simple as that. And their check was sent to someone else. The person may or may not put it in the mailbox. And if they don't, you need to go to that address and see, hey, is it there? So if you have an old address that you've ever used for anything, or an old mailing address, a physical address, anything, go and check those addresses and see, hey, do you got my check? If you do, I'd love to have it. Now, I know many of you are still struggling to make ends meet, to keep your head above water, to keep a roof over your head, to put food on the table, and I get it, and I want to help you out the best that I can. Now, yesterday, last night, I published a video where I show you how to earn $200 daily through PayPal money. It's a fast and easy method. Now, if you haven't checked out that video, I highly recommend you do that now. I will put that in the link, that link down in the description box below. It will be the very first link, so make sure you go and watch that video. If you have any questions whatsoever, you can always ask me in this video or that video. Just ask in the comment section and I'll help you out there. Now, I know this video has already been over 15 minutes, so I don't want to make this any longer. If you have questions on any of the stimulus package, any of the second stimulus check update, anything like that, please ask your question in this video. If you have questions regarding how to earn $200 or more daily, make sure you go and watch that video and ask me a question there. But thanks for watching the second stimulus check update and stimulus package update. If you have any questions, please ask me. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button if you have any questions or you just like this video subscribe if you haven't done so already and i'll see you guys on the next one